Hi there, Assalamualaikum. You're tuning in to Learn English Bersama Madam Azima. And today, I have a special guest for you. She is my good friend. And before I bring her up, I just want to tell you um, a little bit about her. So her name is Dr. Noor Azikin Binti Muhammad Omar. She is the head of the Center of English Language Studies, Faculty of Languages and Communication at UNIZA. So she's going to teach you um, this five steps for writing effective WhatsApp messages to your lecturers. I hope the students who are listening can take down the notes and phrases because it's going to be amazing. So I will bring her up now. Um, okay, let's welcome Dr. Azikin. Okay, hi there, Dr. Azikin. Hi, Madam Azima. How are you? I am great, thank you. How are you? I'm great, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so honored to have you join us because I know you have a lot to teach based on your experience as a lecturer and now the head of department uh, in terms of you receive a lot of WhatsApp messages from students. Am I right? Oh, yes, we do. On a daily basis, we mm -hmm. as lecturers receive a number of um, messages by the students um, asking us about syllabus about right. online class about mm -hmm. exams even uh, quizzes and especially on assignments so at most time we receive the messages at appro at appropriate time and also mm -hmm. manner but in mm -hmm. some cases there were students who send messages um, to us at very unexpected hours like for instance after working hours, mm -hmm. even late at night and on weekends. Oh my goodness. So what about the kind of messages? I mean, do they have to send the messages? What do you think about that? Um, yeah, that is a very good question. I think um, in this, um, this is a very good opportunity for me to say to all students to always um, ask yourself before mm -hmm. you um, send messages to your lecturers. You can say something, you can ask yourself something like, is this message relevant? Mm. Is it really necessary? Or mm. is it the right time to do it? Before you send the messages, you can always ask around, ask your friends, check the websites and check with the office if you could find the quest uh, the answers to your questions that will be better before barge in or before jump into um, messages um, and confirming with your lecturers when you do this it shows that you are prepared you be some efforts rather than just um, crying for help um, to us all right then. Wow, there's a lot there. So I'm sure you can't wait to get started. And so um, let's do this. All right. Okay. Okay, shall we start? Right. The five step for writing effective WhatsApp messages to your lecturers. The first one is to always address the readers, right? Mm -hmm. Start with a simple greeting, honorifics, followed by the name of your lecturers. You can say, for instance, Hello, or hi, Professor City, or Doctor City. Remember, in 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 Malaysia, it is um, a high power culture. That means that people like to be addressed with appropriate title, um, mm. but not um, and not with their names only. Mm. Right? You can say Good morning, Professor City, or mm. you can say Morning, Madam City. Mm. If you are Muslim, you can say Salam. And good morning, Mr. Amin. Um, mm. And go directly with the step two, right? Step two, which yeah. is introduce yourself. So, Madam Azima, this step is very crucial because mm -hmm. I, <laughs> I realized that mm. my students forgot to do it because mm. they assume that the lecturers know who the senders are, which mm. unfortunately we didn't know who sent the messages. So, yeah. In step two, it is important for you to introduce yourself by just stating your name and mm. also the course that you are in. For instance, you can say, my name is Aisha and I am from Bantu. Or you can say, I am Aisha from Bantu. Mm. Right. Shall we go to step three, which yeah. is simplify the situation. So in mm. this step, 
uh, it means that you need to state what situation you are in and also what is what your purpose uh, when testing your um, lectures. Mm. Right. The first one you can directly say, I am writing and state what your purpose is to ask about the homework that you have assigned to us today. Or if you are writing on behalf of the class, you can use the pronouns we. We are writing to ask about the homework that you have assigned to us today. You can add um, a little bit more context to show that you have made effort before texting them. For instance, you can say, I have looked through the syllabus, course mm. website, and asked my friends, but unfortunately, I am still unable to locate it. With you sending this kind of messages, message, um, we understand that the students um, have done their homework, have done their own effort before coming to us, which mm -hmm. is um, greatly appreciated by the lecturers. Right. The other way you can just um, be honest to us, you can say, mm -hmm. I am a bit confused with the information on the submission of homework too. I have looked through the syllabus, course website, and asked my friends, but unfortunately, I still do not understand it. Right. Number three, if you just um, want, if you are a student representative for your program, you can say, we'd like to inform you or I'd like to inform you that the class has registered successfully for the semester. All right. Okay. So, uh, Dr. Zikin, about step three, you were saying that it's very important that they show some effort that they have done the at least some reading or some research before actually texting the uh, the lecturer, right? Yes, that is correct, Madam Azuma, because uh, most of the time, I am very sure that lecturers have prepared a lot of information, especially on assignments beforehand mm. um, for the students to refer. And then if there are any other questions that they did not understand, um, they can ask around with the students because the, stu um, the lecturers might already have mentioned in the class. So it is... It is better to always check um, mm. with your friends first before coming to us. We will really appreciate if you could do that. All right. Okay, great. Okay, let's move on to step four. Yes. Now, step four is request for resol resolution, which mm. is, um, you know, kind of like suggest for suggestion on what, on the problems that you have, um, you have mentioned to us. Okay? okay, you can simply say, I was wondering, I was wondering if we could talk about homework too after mm -hmm. our online class tomorrow. If you mm -hmm. do this, it is it shows that you are professional, it shows that you are independent and then you are responsible to the problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number two, you can say I was hoping, or you can say we were hoping you could review the information on homework too during our class tomorrow. Okay. Um, if you want to be extra polite, you can say I'd really appreciate, I'd really appreciate if you could spare some time to brief us on the registration procedure after our class tomorrow. Wow, really fantastic phrases. Wondering, hoping, I'd really appreciate. These are very polite and very respectful when you speak to your lecturers. I like that. Okay, and let's yes, move on. Yeah. All right. The last step, which is the simplest, Madam Azuma, but most of us forgot to do it, especially mm. the students, which is meant <laughs> with politeness. Mm. All right. So in order for you to do this, you can simply say, or you can end the message simply by saying, thank you, Professor mm. Siti. All right. Mm. So because although I know, I know that the professor hasn't done anything yet towards your problem, <laughs> But in our culture, it is always good. It's always nice to end mm -hmm. something with thank you and yeah. also mention their name. If you mention their name, it shows it, it shows that you are um, appreciating your um, reader, and yeah. also it is more solid solidarity. Um, create solidarity with the reader. Okay. You can also say I am looking forward, or we are looking forward for your reply. Mm -hmm. looking forward to hearing from you and then simply say thank you or mm -hmm. you just can say many thanks for your help 
Professor or Madam Aziba. Okay, all right. So step right. five is very important because it's all about ending with politeness. You want to be positive. And you were saying that just say thank you even though the lecturer hasn't done anything yet. Okay, so you've shared five uh, important steps along with the phrases to use. Um, what about any final tips before they actually press send? Any final tips? Right, Madam Azima. Um, I think this tip goes to us, goes to everyone else, not um, mm -hmm. to the students, but to everyone yeah. generally. Is always to proofread your message to check for any typos before mm. you send it, because right. we want, yeah. If you do this, you will remain professional, right? Mm -hmm. You don't want to use informal language or forms. I know that students like to use short forms like. IDK. Do you know what IDK is, Madam Azima? I don't know. <laughs> that, that, is, that is the answer. IDK stands for I don't know. But um, mm. it, 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 does it sound professional to you no. if your students send it to you? No. Okay. no. With friends, it's okay, but not to your lecturers. Not to your lecturers, yeah. Mm. Instead of, say, instead of um, writing R I T E, which mm. is supposed to be write W R I T E, mm. then I think you should spend some effort to to you know to check for any typos to to avoid mm. informal language, grammar, mm. punctuation, mm -hmm. and also um, like for instance double question mark or triple yeah. question mark. Because they, yeah. they think it's emergency, so they're like, question mark, triple, exclamation. But what does it show? What does it show, really? Exactly. If you if you do um, double question mark or triple question mark or exclamation mark, it mm -hmm. could show that you are demanding for mm. the answer or it shows that you are angry. So it's not right. a good sign, especially if you want to be polite towards your lecturers. Wow. Those are amazing tips. Uh, thank you so much, Dr. Azikin. That I hope that the listeners, especially the students who are, you know, they need to text something, they are listening today because there are so many gems, wonderful tips and phrases uh, by Dr. Azikin. She's prepared for you. You guys have to listen, rewind, rewatch this. And so thank you so much, Doctor, for this enlightening session. And guys, um, that's all the time we have. So don't forget to tune in next week. That's on Wednesday, 12.15 p.m. Learn English bersama Madam Azima. And so it's fun and fluent English for professionals. Thank you once again, Dr. Azikin. You guys catch us again only on Manis FM. Gaya Pantai Timur.